I'm Mason Mount. You're listening to the London is Blue podcast. All right, pre-season MVP time. Uh, this award literally means nothing. So it's like the community <laughs> field? Hopefully. <laughs> unless you win it, right? Then it goes on your mantle in the office. You show it off. You, you put it on your LinkedIn. I mean, that's what I'd do if I won the community shield. <laughs> Update your awards on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, career highlights. Uh, London's Blue Podcast preseason MVP. And we've narrowed it down, apparently. Uh, so at Nisar Kinsella saying Chelsea preseason minutes, Aspie 421, Jorginho 381, Kovacic 365. And then it goes into Mount, Pedro, Emerson, Zuma, Tammy. So this a core group that either A, Frank wanted to look at, or B, trusted and wanted them to settle in. Uh, then you go, he uh, continues to tweet about goals. Barkley on top with four, Mount in third or no, Mount with three, <laughs> Abraham, Giroud, Pulisic, Batshuayi uh, with two, Pedro Kennedy with one, and then the assists, Barkley three, Alonso two, Jorginho Kennedy, Kovacic, Pedro, Batshuayi <laughs> one. Um, so, gentlemen, if you want, we can go ahead and kind of talk about who you think your preseason MVP was. Dan, uh, I'm a little bit interested to hear which way you go, but I feel like it's going to be a pretty narrow field for all of us regardless. Yeah, I think it's... You know, there's, there's not many at the top right now that you're picking from. Um, Angolo Conte, clearly the winner, looked the best out of his... I think so, minutes. too. <laughs> his 18 minutes. Yeah, no. So I, I think if I'm looking at it, Nick, it comes down to Mount and Barkley being the individuals that should get the recognition. Pulisic is probably a bronze medalist if we're going one, two, three. I would imagine that Barkley in less minutes than Mount and ends up with four goals, uh, one which was a penalty, gets three assists. I I think it has to go to him. I think Mount is a very, very close second place, obviously shown a lot to people who are concerned about what he might bring to the team this season, why maybe he's not going out on loan. He clearly looks very firmly set in Frank's plans for the upcoming season, but I don't know how you can give it to someone other than Ross the boss Barkley. Yeah, it's it's not always about the amount of minutes you get. It's about what you do with those minutes, right? Um, I, I think, you know, as an MVP, I would I would almost like phrase these two things differently. And this is not a cop out. I'm going to award an MVP. I think Ross is the biggest mover. I to I think he he is coming from a not even a consideration. All all three of us thought we needed to loan or sell him to get minutes this year all the way up to almost locked in number 10 starter for Manchester United on Sunday. That is wild to me. Like that's pretty crazy. And I think he did himself a hell of a lot of good. Mason Mount did himself a hell of a lot of good. Um, Jorginho did himself a hell of a lot of good in this preseason. Um, Mateo Kovacic, a guy who we absolutely said do not buy for the amount of money that we ended up paying for him. Uh, looked really good. Again, these are all midfielders, right? And to Dan's previous point, there's not a whole lot else that we're like super thrilled about. So, um, so these are all considerations. I think my preseason MVP uh, is Mount and not because I, th- I think he's going to start on day one, but I think he, in, in an MVP scenario, my criteria is not only his performances, but also the level of excitement that I think Chelsea fans had for the preseason kind of hedged around him, um, considering Pulisic didn't join until like midway through. So I, th- I think I'm going to throw Mount in there, even though, you know, the boss uh, had a, a statistically better um, go of it, Brandon. You know, I think I – not to not to fanboy but i was watching george benson's uh recap of red bull uh salzburg and the thing he pointed out about ross that i don't know maybe i just didn't pay close attention to it looks like lampard's giving him free kick duty and penalty duty i think like that shows a ton of trust if you're going to give a player the ability to hit bomb ass free kicks in the top corner in preseason and he's hit what two penalties so far, I mean, uh, yes, at yeah. least two, right? Two. At least. Um, it just shows a lot of confidence in a player. And 
I'm not going to say it's the same as Maurizio Sarri and Jorginho, but my point is um, Ross seems to kind of have his, have his backing and have the freedom to do uh, what he thinks is best in those situations. And from everything we've read and, and kind of talked and, you know, read about Ross and the way he acts, he's an instinct player that just plays right into his hand. And all of a sudden Lampard can, can, you know, essentially release this player, maybe have a little bit more structure. It's the same thing. We'd always let Ed Nazar do whatever he wants and we build the team defensively and structurally around him. Again, Ross, Pulisic, Pedro, no one is claiming to be Ed Nazar, but you always want to have a dynamic player who has the freedom to get in between the lines to, to, you know, I guess, run at the back line and things like that. And it really looks like Lampard's given Barkley that nod. So because of all of that, I would say that, you know, he's been the preseason MVP also because he's just produced. He's produced assists. He's produced goals. Um, and he's done it in a variety of ways. And so but now we just have to hope that he can continue this into the season because, um, you know, who else? That, what did he get? Number 24? Did he take Cahill's number? No, he's rocking the eight. Oh, well, uh, Ocho. Oh, I don't know. Whoever whoever took over uh, Cahill's number, someone had a funny tweet saying that they've got big arms to fill in that. <laughs> <case>. <laughs> uh, I will also say uh, to your point about free or free kicks and penalties. Mount was given corner duties. Yeah. Um, and and I don't I don't think that's insignificant. And I think his delivery from corners has been the best since Fabregas left. I mean, certainly beats out William. Hazard, you know, whoever else we had take him last year. So, and we've only seen one short attempt so far in preseason where we played it out and then tried to kick it in. I'm very happy to see that we're not attempting a ton of those. So, I'm much happier with us actually trying to kick it directly in the box and let some of the tall men get up there and just try to knock it in. You know what? Lampard probably doesn't even have that many free kick plays drawn up. I mean, what the hell? Amateur hour. If it's not 300, then what are you even doing? Oh man, just sitting on a beach enjoying his preseason, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll have to. I mean, we always knew he was going to be down to those two players, right? You have special shouts for like a, a Pedro, who's obviously had a, a very positive preseason. Uh, you know, even we've seen a new role for Jorginho. Uh, Kovacic could be considered almost the most improved player, I think, in preseason. Someone who nobody wanted the club to buy for 40 million. Now we're like, ha, done. That was a no brainer. Obviously, it's preseason. We have a 38-match season coming up, plus cup tournaments along the way. So there's a, a lot of minutes to be had. But um, overall, you know, outside of the defense, right, it's, it's pretty positive. Even Keppa didn't have a great day. And he was supposed to be one that we said is world-class potential and all these things. Had a bad day at the office. So it's a, it's a lot about the, uh, the back four right now and the goalkeeper and seeing how that, that you know, kind of coincides. But other than that, as going forward, there's a lot of optimism, which I think is is exciting. Um, I mean, we want to see goals. The season ticket holders want to see goals too, and um, we'll just have to see kind of how it goes. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Who is your preseason? Let us know, social media, email, all the normal ways you can. You can even leave us a voice message in the Anchor app if you want to wanna maybe yell at us and let us know why you think we <laughs> were Please. wrong. Please don't yell at us. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's actually, do it. Do it. See if I care. 